Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Bruno, a registered dietitian over at Samaritan Bariatric and Metabolic Care. And it's National Nutrition Month, so we are going to be talking about meal planning today. I'm just going to give you a few tips about meal planning and prepping ahead so you have easier access to some healthier meals at home so you're not, you know, oh I have nothing prepared, let me just go out and grab something that might not be a good choice. So first, make a plan. Making a grocery list of exactly what you wanna have for breakfast and lunch for the week, or maybe just some foods you wanna you know, prepare in batches so you have chicken ready or some roasted of veggies ready. Um, Pinterest is a great little resource for some easy meal prepping, even ideas and tips, even recipes. Uh, there's a bunch of healthy recipes on there. So making a grocery list and sticking to it is gonna be helpful. Um, another thing you could do is just meal prep the ingredients. So have like cut up zucchini in a container, have cut up peppers and cut up red onion, diced up already, or things like that. So you just have to go home, you save time and pans already because it's already like chopped up and all stuff like that. Um, and then you can just have easy ingredients already ready to go for a meal. Um, then I thought it'd be good just to go over some easy protein sources for meal prepping for lunches or, you know, even breakfasts for the week. Um, easy, you know, if you don't have time to make chicken for the week, getting rotisserie chickens from the grocery store is easy and just peel off the skin, the ones that are already, you know, pre-cooked. And then, um, tuna fish is easy. They even have nice packets now with different flavors on it. Um, you can do the chicken too they have now or even salmon packets I think they have in the grocery store also. So those are just some easy protein sources to add on top of salads or just like with the roasted veggies that you made for the week. So that's an easier tip. Um, cooking your food all at once. So making a whole bunch of roasted veggies or making chicken in two different ways so you can switch it up or making ground beef and then using that as your protein source for the week, but having it with rice cauliflower one day or sweet potatoes one day, so you don't get bored. Um, adding fresh herbs too to already prepared lunches. So say you made taco bowls for the whole week, but you wanted to spice it up a little, adding like fresh cilantro or parsley to a dish or basil, that'll just give it an extra fresher taste. And then my last tip would be like for freezing foods, um, freezing them in smaller freezer bags will be easier and more spacious in your freezer. So you can do basic freeze anything. Um, I have a few tips too for how long a few, a few foods stay in the freezer for. Like cooked soups or stews stay for two to three months. Uh, ground beef or any type of meat too would stay for three to six months. And then fruit can stay up to eight months and veggies, frozen veggies are a quick easy source. Um, for an easy side dish can stay up to a year. And those are all my tips and thank you.